Zdravo, dobar dan. Ahoj, ke. Dobri den, strasvitje. Bonjour, hello. But of course, my name is Adam Daniel Mze, your PMD for hire. Producer of marketing and distribution. 100 episodes of the ADM video blog. Yay! Okay, we're going to open up a can of whoop-ass on this centenary anniversary. This was brought about by a video piece that I saw from the Woodstock Film Festival, which ran from September the 23rd to October the 3rd. This was a DIY, a do-it-yourself distribution panel that featured a whole host of really interesting DIY producers and content aggregators, people like Richard Abramowitz of Abramarama, or John Sloss of Synetic Media Management, people like Ed Burns, the famous actor, director, producer, and Ted Hope. A lot of interesting guys that were on this panel. Let me just describe something that really kind of bothered me over the course of the last 24 hours, and this had to do with the staggering number of new films that are being introduced every year, independent films, that is, in the United States. 7,500 new independent films alone, according to Ted Hope, are being made every year in the United States of America, or North America, including Canada. 4,000 of which, which is 60% of those films, are submitted to the Sundance Film Festival in Park City, Utah, which takes place at the end of January every year. And this number of films are actually being submitted to Sundance and made. So Ted came up with this sort of arbitrary value. He said, let's just imagine that the average amount that these films are being made for is $500,000 a piece. If you multiply times $7,500, that's $3.75 billion that are being made on films which could very likely fund a very interesting government program or even health care for the entire nation, let's just say. And what he basically said is, these various independent filmmakers are introducing these films into the marketplace with absolutely no marketing plan whatsoever, waiting on a hope and a prayer that their genius is going to be discovered by some producer or some distribution entity, at which time money will be thrown at them, helping them make their budgets back, put them into profitability, and launch their filmic cinematic careers into the stratosphere. And Ted Hope described this as irresponsible, irresponsibly making movies. And now I'm going to chime in with my opinion, which isn't exactly a novel opinion, but it's probably something that is not expressed in our little community. I am going to say right now that the fact that independent films are not benefiting from current distribution platforms or finding it difficult to secure distribution, that is a good thing, that is a good thing, that is a good thing. I'm kind of tired of the kind of films, as Ted Hope says, that are irresponsibly being placed out there without any kind of a marketing or a Disney plan whatsoever in place. This current crop of films that are being put out and that are being put through the meat grinder, this is a good thing. This is going to consolidate the industry, is going to ensure that good films are being put out there, that it's going to create a lot of competition, it's going to get people to tighten up their scripts to make sure that their stories are tight, that audiences like it, it's going to make people focus a lot more on audience consolidation, audience commitment, giving people reasons to buy, reasons to rent, reasons to stream in VOD, whatever the amounts are. This is real audience engagement, not just taking a film and putting it out there because you've got a digital camera and that you think that someone's going to pick it up somewhere, somehow. No, no, no. That time is over. And I'm glad what's going on right now. We're in that really interesting phase where everything's being shaken out. People like Ted Hope and John Sloss and Ed Burns and people like that understand how this thing goes. Day and date releasing, putting out your film on more platforms on a single day, making sure it's available on DVD, VOD, iTunes, Hulu, and the more than 700 European VOD or video on demand outlets. That's really what it's all about. Now I know I'm going to get a lot of people telling me, well, what about all those crappy films that get distribution deals that are real crappy films and because of consolidation, because of networks, eminence, grise, and all these backdoor dealings and parties at Sundance and other sort of activities, 
these filmmakers get distribution, while the really deserving films like Bass Ackwards that produced by people like Thomas Woodrow, these films are not getting produced. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a few examples like that that slip in there too. This is not an airtight system. But there are definitely, as Ted Hope says, there's definitely a whole host of films that are total crap. Crap on an objective yardstick. And not because the stories are crap or the people producing them are talentless. No, it's because they didn't take the time to work through their script. Remember, paper is cheaper than film. They didn't get the time to think about audience engagement. They didn't forget about newfangled distribution techniques. They just don't care. It's the European style of filmmaking. Je suis un auteur, and I'm going to put out the film, and I do not care what the audience thinks, and I'm going to ensure that you see my movie, and the fuck you, I do not care. It doesn't work like that anymore. you got to focus on what people want to see. So that's the word of the day. 100 episodes of the ADM video blog, and I think I earned a little sip of coffee, just a moment. Coming back with some more action. I can't wait for Sundance to happen, baby. It is going to be a festival. Wishing you and everybody out there the best of things. And as we say in the Czechoslovak ethnic language, Naskleno. Mnetsa sat.